Erythrasma. Its bacterial infection caused by Cornebacterium minutissimum characterized by well definitely black, red, pink patches. More commonly affected are those suffering from 1. Obesity 2. People with diabetes mellitus 3. Excessive sweating 4. People living or working in hot and humid climate 5. People with low immunity power 6. People sharing clothes with others like in hostels, barracks, nursing homes Types 1. Interdigital erythrasma. It affects web spaces of fourth and fifth finger and third and fourth finger. Sometimes it is associated with fungal infection also. 2. Intertrigemous erythrasma. It affects body folds like armpit, under breast, groin, natal cleft, etc. 3. Generalized erythrasma or disiform erythrasma. It can affect any part of body but it is very rare. This same bacteria, Cornebacterium, causes two diseases pitted keratolysis and trichomycosis axillaris. Clinical features, asymptomatic. Black, red or pink patches are seen. Sometimes it's scaly with small fissures. Occasionally patient can present. With itching also. Diagnosis. It's a clinical diagnosis by dermatologist. Very easy to recognize. In case of confusion with pityriasis versicolor woods lamp is used for diagnosis. Coral pink color fluorescence is seen on wood's lamp due to release of porphyrins by bacteria. Other disease confused with erythrasma are 1. Seborrheic dermatitis 2. Candidiasis 3. Inverse psoriasis 4. Haley Haley disease 5. Tinea cruris, ringworm, microscopy is sometimes used to confirm diagnosis. Samples taken from black patches are seen under microscope after special staining. Microscopy shows a characteristic finding of gram-positive filamentous bacteria. Treatment It's very simple and highly effective. Various creams used for treatment are 1. Fusidic acid cream 2. Clindamycin cream and lotion 3. Erythromycin cream and lotion 4. Benzoyl peroxide cream and gel In case of severe and resistant cases oral antibiotics like erythromycin, azithromycin or doxycycline are used. Clotrimazole powder and antibacterial soaps are used to prevent recurrence. Prevention Maintain good hygiene, regular daily bathing, wear loose cotton clothing, use antibacterial soaps, use antiperspirants like aluminum chloride solution, can use any talc free baby powder.